So this is Visual Studio with the uh, Team Concert client integrated. You can see we have uh, a menu there with Team Concert. We have uh, pending changes view that's used to track the synchronization state of your source code with the uh, Jazz server. Uh, exa exactly the same as what you have in um, the Eclipse uh, Team Concert client. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is start with a blank, uh, get some, create some code using one of uh, Visual Studio's uh, sample wizards. We're going to create a Windows Forms application. We're going to rename it eVoting Client. And we are integrating into the, uh, the Visual Studio wizard. We, are, we have this uh, little checkbox there. And so it makes it very easy to, uh, to share our code in, in the Jazz server. So now Visual Studio is uh, generating a bunch of uh, C-sharp files and uh, create a new solution. And when, when, uh, when, it, when it is done, uh, Team Concert will uh, share this new solution into the, uh, into the Jazz server. So the first thing we do is set up a connection to that Jazz server. So that's the first time we are connected to it. I log in using the account that Heather has created for me in a step uh, earlier. Then the next step is going to be to specify where to uh, to save this uh, this solution. So I'm going to create a new workspace. That's going to be my uh, my repository workspace. I'm going to give it a name: e voting Windows Prototype Workspace. So that's another example of where we are integrated, where Team Concert client for Visual Studio is, is integrated into Visual Studio. Uh, by default, we suggest that you ignore, we don't, you don't source control some of the uh, debug files that um, Visual Studio generates for you. Typically, those things don't make sense. Like it, it's, they're only, uh, they're created every time you debug your application or, or you compile it. So it's usually not very interesting to have those object files and debug files inside the, uh, the server. So we're going to keep the default. We're going to exclude those, um, those files with the foreign extensions. And this is now pushing all those um, pushing this solution that's to the uh, to the jazz server the next thing I will do is actually have a look at the associate the uh, the work item that uh, Heather has assigned to me and so that we can track uh, what my changes are for so the pending change view now shows uh, my repository workspace. And uh, I have a change that shares this solution. And so the first thing I'm going to do there is associate the work item. And that reminds me, this dialog reminds me that I am not actually connect. I have not specified which project area I work on. So this is the step I'm going to do right now. I'm going to switch over to the team artifacts view which is uh, very similar to uh, which is similar to what you have in the uh, Visual the Team Concert client on Eclipse, and uh, I'm going to connect to the project area that Heather created. Now, having done that, as you can see, we have uh, build information, source control, work items. Now, having done that, I can specify which work items to associate. That's the one that's. Uh, scope to that um, project area I am uh, working on. And that's the work item that Heather has created. So I'm going to verify that I have done a good job. I'm going to run this application, verify that it runs, and then I'm going to share it with my team. So this is the application running here. That's good. Stop it. When Heather created the 
project area named electronic voting platform um, there was a stream created um, automatically and I'm going to collaborate with this stream to share to deliver my changes so I'm going back to the pen changes view and I'm changing the flow target to be that stream so I'm accepting the incoming changes even though it's a, it just created a, a blank component and the interesting part now is I'm going to deliver my changes and Heather is going to be able to use the changes I've delivered to that stream she's going to use that uh, stream to drive the um, the build engine so now I'm handing over to uh, to Heather for the final part of this demo oh yeah one more thing before I switch over is um, yeah we can see that in the solution explorer we have those um, decorations there that show that uh, that, that show a, give an awareness about the synchronization of those files so that if you um, if you modify files and so on then you get uh, you get them showing as uh, as outgoing like if I add a line here in this file and I save it then the um, this is going to show up as uh, having a local change I can check in that change and uh, now I have a change that's ready to be delivered and the file shows up as outgoing and I could deliver it to the build if I wanted to uh, which I can do I'm going to associate to a work item again I'm going to add a little uh, comment uh, adding some comment and I'm delivering that change and we can see the uh, this file now is no longer decorated as been outgoing because I have delivered it to, to the stream so I'm in sync with the stream and I'm handed over to, uh, to Heather